imagine you're hired someone to do domain research for you. The question is, what kind of agreement do you need? And what do you need to watch out for? Let's talk about this. Hi, my name is Martis. I make daily video about business, legal, and intellectual property. What is intellectual property? Think about copyright, trademark, and patent. If you want to know more about those things, feel free to subscribe. Don't don't subscribe. Okay, let's talk about this. Um, you see, sometimes you have a project, and it's important that the brand name is correct. I'm gonna give you some example, but I cannot tell you the name of the project because uh, I'm not allowed to talk about it. That's simple. So um, the thing is, you have a project, and you need someone. You need to hire someone to do some research for you to see the um, the domain names that are available. And the question is, when you hire someone, what kind of agreement do you are you making with someone? You can do it yourself, but most of the time you don't have time for that. So you can hire a freelancer, you can hire a company to do it for you. Why do you need that? You need to make sure that when you start the project, you have the available domains to use them. Because if you don't have it, it can be a problem when you are doing some marketing. So that's why it's most time you hire someone or you can let the employee do it. But most of the time people hire someone. It's that simple. Because it's cheaper and having an employee just for that. I don't think about that. So they hire a specialist that does that. So what kind of agreement do you need then? So let's go to the whiteboard so we can have a uh, clear view of what I'm talking about. So this is company X. So we call it company X. Wow, I cannot draw. I cannot draw. Sorry. And company X is hiring, let's say, company A. And um, the question is, what kind of agreement do they need? And the problem that needs to be solved is, okay, I need to know what kind of uh, domain I'm uh, available. And I also need to know, uh, and also need to uh, have someone that manage them. Management means that someone registered them. And if they need to renew, they renew it. And they also need to make sure that when they register that they get the list of good domains that they can register. So you just want to get one, a list of domain name and two, someone that can manage them. And when you have a project, you can already have the domain name so you can use it because in the begin phase of a project most companies are um, how do you call it they, they have the plan but if they are going to execute it they need to make sure that domain names domain name are available in different country so for example if I'm using the name let's say uh, econ okay and I look uh, I'm gonna use the name econ and I want to go to the German market, the Dutch market, the American market, or the New Zealand market. I need to look if the um, domain name are available or not. Okay. I need to know the price and I need to know can I register them and can I use them and what kind of service am I using. You understand? And most of the time people don't have a specialist that does that so they can hire someone that does it. It can be a company but it can also be a freelancer. You understand what I mean? So that's this kind of problem that you have with uh, projects. So you hire someone, but the thing is, you need to get a list. And uh, what also important is, what are the costs? Because if you hire, um, if you have a project, you have a budget, uh, you need to watch out for the cost. So it's important to get a list and the cost of registration and managing. Because sometimes um, I see people they have different account, but they still manage the domain name. So if it have to be renewed, they will renew it. But they also need to choose what the, they also need to choose if the option is not available. So, for example, if I have econ and someone already registered that domain name somewhere else, I can choose by trying to get the, the name or I can choose to choose an alternative so someone can give you some option. So, you need to make contact with this person. You understand what I mean? So, when you look at it, what do you need to put in a contract? That's the most important part. Thing is, I have a um, contract that you can use. It's that simple and just remember if you want to get this contract you have to be on patreon you need to be a special patreon otherwise you cannot download if you're not sorry about that if you want this contract and you don't want to be a special patreon feel free to contact me on twitter and i will see what i can do for you so let's go to look in a contract i'm not going to discuss the whole contract with you because we don't have enough time so let's look at the contract 
um, you see domain registration and we're going to discuss some things about it okay? and uh, what you need to know is you need to make sure that you have an agreement where the service is clear so you're going to do some research you're giving me some list i want to know the price i'm paying you this much for it that's simple your compensation is this much for it you understand simple right put it in a contract put it on a contract so and put also in a contract how you're going to get paid and what happened with the um, rights and what i advise a lot of freelancers when um when they do this is they need to make sure that when they get a name and right, that the person that give you the name um how do you sell it the person that give you the name um is correct um, let me give you an example uh, sometimes people give you a name but there is a typo especially if you talk on uh, let's say whatsapp or zalo doesn't matter uh, if you talk on those kind of thing and there's a typo if you register a typo you have to domain it for a whole year and who's going to pay for the cost you understand what i mean so you need to watch out for that okay? you need to make sure you need to get the confirmation hey is this the domain name that i have to register for you you understand what i mean okay so um you need to make sure and what you need to also make sure is okay you talk with the client and uh, what happened when you have to renew the domain i'm going to give you some example you see here renew number six clients shall be responsible for renewing any domain name register here on the on the register shall not have not no application to provide renewable service or to inform client of any necessary renewals why do i have this like this sometimes you have freelancer they don't have time after one project they go to another one they don't have time to keep track hey you need to remove it so um that's something that the client need to do it himself or herself doesn't matter but what you need to watch out is the following if you offer the service to do renewal okay, it can take a long time like a year after a year you have to offer the same service again to renew but most company has um, has an uh, let's say a uh, reminder that you ha you can renew your domain name in certain kind of days and it's that simple so you don't have to put it really in but i think it's necessary when you put it in you just be clear that you just be clear that you're not going to renew you have to do it yourself that's it so um that's what the renewal and this contract is simple you can download it you can use it and if you have question about this contract let me know so recap domain registration is better to hire someone to do some research for you let the person give you a list what you really need let them also give you a list with the price so what's it gonna cost because i know startups are on a budget and it's important to know what is uh what the costs are that's simple so and when you make a contract make sure you know um, what the service are and what's gonna be most freelance has their own terms but those terms are general because those it people of marketing people are just providing service and in the um in the proposal they will describe what the service is going to be so watch out for that sometimes it's better to have a special um, specific agreement than accepting general terms that you don't know what's in it right. because most of the time those things don't cover so if you have if you're a freelancer and you have a general terms and you want someone to look at it feel free to contact us right. if you need a template like i said become a patreon supporter you can get it or contact us and we can see what we're going to do for you so that's about it if you have questions about these things feel free to let me know and i will see you in the next video